morning ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome back to get familiar with today i will show you the uh, mini resetoscope uh, 15 french bipolar native bipolar here is together with this uh, uh, big brother the 26 french uh, bipolar reset classic uh, resetoscope it's a native bipolar resetoscope it, that means it's been designed specifically to work as uh, bipolar on the market are available uh, other uh, mini resetoscope uh, with a diameter around between 5 and 5.5 millimeters, but are not native bipolar. They are native monopolar and they become bipolar with the trick of using the external sheet as a return electrode. But the problem related to this uh, uh, device is that it's enough to have a small space, a small uh, area between the surface of the, the external part of the sheet that is the a neutral electrode and the body to uh, interrupt the circuit the uh, uh, arc of electricity and therefore to not get any effect from the cut or the coagulation so uh, having a native bipolar instrument designed to be bipolar since the beginning is a certainly great advantage and safety during our procedure. Here is together again with this big brother you see that if not together it would be very difficult to uh, distinguish between uh, the two uh, instruments that are perfectly one the clone of the other one but only with the miniaturization. The only real difference is the color of this plastic part here it is uh, yellow in the classic resetoscope and green in the uh, mini resetoscope. Also the mini resetoscope comes only with a lens of zero degree instead of the option of 12 degrees and 30 degrees of the classic uh, resetoscope. And now we are ready to assemble the uh, mini resetoscope uh, to show to you how it works uh, and therefore disassemble and cleaning. So these are all the parts of the uh, mini resetoscope. We start from the optics. The optics is a 0 degree 2.9 millimeters lens. Zero, there is no alternative because uh, the loop is so small that it has to be zero. So we, if we want to have a, a perfect view of the loop during the movement, it must be zero. Um, the lens goes directly on the working element. The difference uh, between this working element and the working element of the classic resetoscope, as you can see, it's the absence of the uh, sheet that protect the lens. It means that the lens goes directly, it's inserted directly on the working element and the lens itself is the place where, we'll, uh, where the electrode will be connected. Regarding the electrodes, we have different electrodes. We have a loop, we have a knife, uh, we have a roller ball and they're called the loop of Mazzon. Um, I want to keep your attention on the uh, loop as you can see, the loop is a very uh, small loop, around 3.5 millimeters. And instead of being open like in the classic resetoscope, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a spheroidal, it's closed. It means that when we will uh, resect the tissue, we will make strip of all the same diameter. It means 3.5 uh, uh, millimeters, long as we want. And this will help also the, uh, the, um, the extraction, the removal of the chips because we will not need to um, go as with the classic resetoscope and to hang the chips in between the loop and the, and the scope itself. If you try to do this with this small miniaturized electrode, you will probably broke the, uh, the electrode itself. So thanks to the fact that all the chip will have the same diameter passing through this uh, 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 spheroidal uh, loop they will come easily out without uh, uh, the support of an external force just with the fluid going out and then you can observe also the uh, being a native bipolar you can see the uh, return electrode the return electrode is uh, here in this plaque metal plaque uh, so this is the negative uh, uh, electrode uh, while the loop is the positive uh, electrode. And so you see it's been designed specifically to be bipolar. And obviously the two arms 
one brings the po one is the positive electrode and the other one is the negative electrode insertion is almost the same of the classic uh, resetoscope we have two holes here okay and the scope the electrode is inserted in different way i prefer to insert first the electrode into the holes here then click it in and only when it's in i push and i fix it on the on the lens itself to release see so the electrode goes on the lens it's fixed on the lens to release is sufficient to to push the same bottom you push on the classic resetoscope and then you can release the uh, electrode and then click and it's done so when you do this uh, the uh, working element and the lens it's ready then you assemble the two sheets making the rotating one it's a click movement so it's a new uh, uh, system and then you prepare the external sheet they look almost the same of the 26 French with the zero on the top close to the irrigation how do you distinguish the irrigation from the aspiration yes there is a, a, a mark on both sides that show to you this is the in and the other one is the out okay but it's if you look at the if you look at the uh, sheet itself you will see that the irrigation is the part nearest the uh, area of contact with the working element while the aspiration is the one located far away close to the tip of the of the scope we insert zero with zero we insert zero with zero and then we block the system now the scope itself it's ready we have to connect all the tubes so we have to connect the irrigation the aspiration here the electrical cable as well as we do with the uh, classic resetoscope with the one difference in the classic resetoscope it's located below here it's on the top and the light cable when everything is ready you will have light cable uh, electrical cord and irrigation all the three on the top so over the leg of the patient while the irrigation will go below the leg, leg of the patient the way of using the uh, mini resetoscope is exactly the same we have the rotating uh, sheath so you have you you rotate only the uh, working element together with the light cable and the electrical cord while the irrigation and the aspiration tubing will remain in the same position so it will be easier for you to do it this way and remember just not to use the electrode as a finger use the electrode only to cut something and then leave take maybe your thumb out of the of the working element and leave the uh, uh, chips to flow out spontaneously from from the cervix and once the procedure is finished immediately disassemble your resetoscope removing the inflow removing the outflow removing the cord and uh, removing uh, the uh, light cable and therefore as we did uh, with the uh, classic resetoscope you take the sheet out you remove and throw it away the electrode disposable and save immediately the lens take the lens under the water clean between your fingers with the soap remove the external part uh, of the adapter for the light cable in order not to create a cavity where liquid or debris should remain and that damage should damage the light uh, cable that brings you see here that brings the light inside the uterine cavity so this area must be always dry this must be dry you have to assemble at the end of the sterilization process process when everything is uh, dry okay then uh, you clean and wash the working element nothing special to say you disassemble the two sheath and you clean them under 
water may be under high pressure water or high flow water. Same uh, rules of the, of the uh, resetoscope, you close this part uh, so you allow the water only to come out of these holes. This will help you to wash this area and on the opposite you will close these holes with your fingers leaving the lower part free and the, and the, and the water with the flow high pressure inside the tube cleaning spontaneously everything is inside. With the external sheet, again the same, one finger here, the stopcock on the top close, so the water will be forced to go from here down through, out through the holes, the aspiration holes. So this will be perfectly clean. And afterwards, you reopen the two uh, stopcock you close completely the final part in order not to allow the water to come out from the tip, but only through the stopcock uh, here, and also them will be clean. Last part, remove the stopcock in order to have a perfect cleaning and sterilization of your instruments, like we did with the classic uh, resetoscope. So at the end of the story, you will uh, give all these parts to the uh, sterilization uh, uh, department or to, your, uh, or to your people if you have the sterilization inside the operative theater together with the electrical cord. This is the end of our uh, video dedicated to the mini resetoscope 15 French by Polar. Uh, I hope you got all the information you were looking for and uh, I uh, hope to see you on the next video that will coming soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.